Good morning everybody, Troy here from Troy's Hobby and I'm back again for another unboxing. Ah, this is the Ace T dish rack. Uh, I believe it's a kit. And so let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that camera in closer so you guys can see what this is the warranty card. Make sure if you buy anything from Ace-T, it usually comes with an Ace-T uh, registration little card here. It tells you what website to go to. I believe you get six months extra warranty and you get a chance to, uh, to win stuff or to win the free trials. So check it out. Here's the, I can see the instruction. So while I have it here and it's in frame, let's go ahead and uh, cut that out really quick. I'll be needing that. I'm going to go ahead and do a... Uh, excuse me, an installation video, assembly of this dish rack. So you can see here, oops, and I accidentally cut it with my knife. So tells you what, what accessories are in the kit and a nice diagram. Pull the uh, other paperwork out here. Yep, there it says right there. Rep, make sure you register your product. And let's see what this is. Keep in touch with Ace T. Tells you about their social media. Warranty information. Replacement parts. So let's go ahead and put that aside. Right. Let's go ahead and rip into this. We'll go ahead and slide everything out. I might have to reposition the camera. It might be a little too close. But, okay, the box is empty. So let's see what we have in here. This is, an, I believe, an, an, an entire kit. Stainless steel. So it's supposed to look really nice, decorative. So I haven't gone through the instructions, but this looks like the base. Has a little slip out tray catch the water which is nice some more parts comes with a little uh, here comes with a little the little parts in the bag looks like it comes with a little little uh, tool some nuts and some other doohickeys there hopefully you can see that so it comes with uh, the little tool you'll need to uh, put this together. This looks like the little uh, rack for uh, you know the uh, utensils. Another. I have to read the instructions, so I'm not. 100% sure what part that is, but we'll know here shortly after I put everything together. And this looks like the top rack. So, see if we can get a little closer trying to focus in here. I'm using my iPhone. Looks nice. So, that's that. This looks like the frame. That holds everything together. That looks pretty. So it's metal. All right. And of course, the instructions. Well, it says here that this part is the, uh, it says E. And it, oh, this is, well, this is, a, it's an alphabetical order. So E is, uh, this is the uh, cutting board basket. So I guess if you wash your cutting board, you can hang it off the side of this, which is pretty cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, put it together and get it on video for you. All right, folks, I opened up the little baggie. I want to show you really quick what's in the baggie. It comes with a supplied little wrench. It comes with these, this, uh, there's four of these parts. They, they call this the base. And this is a... Uh, it's listed in alphabetical order if you look at the instructions once you buy yours. This is a K. There's four of these. And this is the base of the uh, product so it doesn't slide around the, uh, uh, the counter. 
these four here are the tube caps. So on the caps here, you can see they're open. That's what these are for. All you gotta do is pop these inside. Well, in fact, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it now. Why not? All right, pretty simple. Uh, just make, make sure you put these on so you don't get water in there and uh, junk and whatever else. So there's one, two. We'll go ahead and do that now. Now oh, that can't get simpler than that, right? So there's two on each one, so I gotta grab the other one. And I'll do that on the other one. This is the second uh, side leg frame, whatever you wanna call it. Go ahead and pop those in there. So make sure you put these on. Don't forget about it so you don't get water and debris and junk and whatever trapped into the, uh, the two base, bases. Okay, there, those, that's handled. So here's the, here's the two different ones, the regular screws and the screw nuts, what they call them. Basically, it's the one with the dome shaped. So you got two different kinds, don't get them mixed up. So we'll go ahead and separate them, put them in two different piles. All right, first two big pieces we'll need is the uh, upper, which is the plate rack, and the bottom bowl cup rack. And you'll know the, the one with the, uh, the cup and bowl rack because it attaches the, uh, the water tray. So when it, when it comes in a package, it's already together. So I'll go ahead and take that out for now. So this is the base, this is the top. All right, first thing, take the top plate rack. There's four corners. You can see the ends here. You're gonna to have to take the uh, flat screw, the regular screw, and just screw them on all four corners. Okay, fourth one, pretty simple until where it almost bottoms out, but you don't have to get it all the way there because it's adjustable. So I have all four done. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, put that one down. Now grab the base, or uh, well, the bottom plate and cup and do the same thing for all four corners. That's the flat nut. So you're gonna screw that on. Okay, last one on this one. That's number, oh, went too far. So just bring it back. So all four corners, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and put that down. Okay, next step is grab uh, one of the uh, side frames. This is the side frame here. They're both the same. So there's no like ones for the left and ones for the right. So just make sure when you start screwing the other products and this is the top, the bent U here, that's the top. This is the bottom. So you'll just need one of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and the same thing with here. There's no left, right, you know, they're the same on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bottom rack. This is the bottom rack. And all you have to do is insert the ends here through, make sure I have this in video. Give it a little finesse. Now remember on this side, you have those screws that you just placed in. Just leave that loose. Do not tighten anything down yet. Just, you just wanna put everything together, make sure it's, everything's adjustable, don't tighten anything down. And then what you're gonna do is take the screw nut, just, uh, and you're gonna take the screw nut here, that's it. That's the one with the dome. This goes on this end. So just place that on there, and that will stop. So, you, so just go ahead and place the dome-shaped nuts on the ends here so that it doesn't fall apart. So it's loose. Just leave it loose. Once you have all the parts together, then that's when you'll start to tighten everything down. So go ahead and take the other side, same thing. Just take your time. See, now I don't even have to hold it. Same thing, the dome-shaped nuts. Go ahead and screw those on. These are the end caps. So they'll only go so far and they'll stop. And what you'll do is you'll tighten down the inside nut up against the bars and that's what, how uh, it'll get all locked down. Okay, so we have the bottom base installed. So now 
Now keep in mind, the U shape, this is the, this is the front, this is the top part, okay? Now, okay, next step, we'll go ahead and grab the top. This is the top. So just take your time, <clears throat> try and line everything up. Now the, uh, the bars here were not lined up. So all I had to do was kind of push it apart a little bit. Don't force it. Just kind of, you know, it's a little, it's flexible. So just don't force it to line it up with the holes. So same thing, left side, let's go ahead and get the left side in. There we go. Oops, sorry for bumping the, uh, So before we go any further, let's go ahead and same thing. We're going to take the little dome shaped nuts, the end caps here, the end cap nuts. That's what I'm calling them. Go ahead and put, let's go ahead and put those on so that it doesn't fall apart on us while we're working on one end. Make sure I'm still in camera frame here. All right, now that we have it, the frame together, see if you can see it. Now everything's still loose. Now what I'm gonna do is the end caps can't go, you know, in further. I am gonna tighten them down right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. So take the little wrench that they provide. There's two ends to it. You'll use the, uh, the smaller end. Now don't over torque it. Just take your time, tight, just tighten it down. You know, it's, they don't want you to bend this little wrench. It's not, it's not a heavy duty wrench. It's just a, for basic use. So just tighten these down. Same thing here. I got it on its side now. I'm going to tighten this down. I'm going to do all four corners and once I have the outside the outside dome shaped nuts tightened down then I can tighten the inner nuts and that will lock everything in place so be right back I'm gonna go ahead I don't need to film all full, all eight take it make the video longer so be right outside back. nuts are tightened down oops got it upside down so now what we'll do here is we're going to work on the uh the nuts that are on the inside here so there's one two three four four on each side so that's how we'll tighten it down the tube is all up against the dome shaped nut and the screw i'm just tightening it down until it makes contact with the tube do all four corners you can see here this nut is all the way out here so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it all the way down as much as I can with my finger do all four corners so do, do that with all eight pretty simple I was actually trying to make it hard on you folks so tighten all tighten down all four corners grab this side here So now what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, use the small wrench and tighten it down. So don't force it, don't over tighten it, you know. So just do all four corners. If you have a proper wrench at home, It'd, it'd probably go faster. I have it. I have a bunch. I have a whole shop full of tools, but I want to use what product or what tool the product came with. So the easiest thing for me to do would be to go just go grab a proper wrench. So these are really narrow, as you can see. So it keeps slipping. 
So do all, do all eight. Be right back. Installed all four corners, 16 nuts, inner bolts. There's uh, eight inside, eight on the outside. Make sure they're all tightened down. There it is. That was pretty easy. So, and of course you have the, uh, the kit comes with a little tray, which is nice. And that just slides in at the base here at the bottom. Now, the, one of the last things you're supposed to do is put in the little tube, but we just did that right out of the box. I mean, easy, simple, easy and simple task. Uh, that was easy. This is a cutting board rack. So this, I guess this just goes on the side here. So you got a little wire going across here, frame that just slides on the frame. Oops, let me put it down. It'd be better if I put it down. So that just places on the frame. So you can either put it on the uh, facing me, this is the right side, or depending on your kitchen situation, you can put it on the left side or whatever. Of course you have the rack for, the, uh, for your forks and spoons. So whatever you want to do, cool, looks really nice too. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, fast forward into my kitchen. This is actually going to replace a uh, one of those drying mats. I am not too happy with it. After a couple uses, it's supposed to dry the rack. You just put everything right on the on the uh, mat, and the mat is supposed to dry. Well, no, it stays wet most of the day, and I'm worried about my laminate countertop and the smell after a few uses it smells like wet laundry so that's why i have this so let's go ahead. this is what the uh product i bought that i'm getting rid of you can look at it it's still wet it's dripping and it's it's damp and it's i washed this uh i think three days ago and it smells it smells like wet laundry it just never never dries so and it was highly rated too so i'm, I'm glad to get rid of this and before I put the new one in, I'm actually going to clean my counter really quick because it's damp. Make sure there's no mildew or anything. All right, I took some uh, Lysol wipes and wiped it down. Make sure there's no smell from the uh, previous uh, mat. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Ace-T drying uh, dish rack. There it is, folks. Let's see what it looks like with uh, some bowls and plates on it. And don't forget to put those bases in. I almost forgot. But they just snap on. Two on each side. Spread them evenly. I just took one of the grates, second grate off each one, so that I knew they were aligned, you know, the same distance. Same thing on this side. Snap on, gives it so it doesn't wiggle as much, gives it more uh, contact with the, the uh, countertop. So don't forget the bases, because I almost did. <laughs> there you go. We have the Ace T dish rack up, up and running. Got it loaded down. I actually got two more spots for two more plates, but I ran out of plates. I only have three in my fa family, including me. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 10, 12, 13 plates. I got two more, two more spots here. So 13, 14, 15. So I could put more 50 more plates. That, I could double them up. The spots are really big. So I could probably actually double them up, but I'd rather have them like that. Gives them more air to dry out. And then I got some of my... Uh, my bowls there. Instead of putting one cutting board, I put a large cutting board and a small cutting board. And then I got some four knives, forks. Got four of each there. Heck, let's load it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go ahead and put eleven more forks. Just in case you're worried about how much weight it can handle. Uh, make sure I don't cut myself. That's four more knives here. Let's go ahead and put those in. So as you can see, it can handle quite a bit. So I wanted to point out really quick also, one thing I'd use the, uh, the utensil rack for is I would leave it in the sink. I usually only, I have two sinks here. It's a double basin. Uh, one, one side I would clean. I'd have my clean utensils on this side. So I put all my stuff in here so I can use it as a little rack, let it dry out in there. And then when I'm done, I can actually go ahead and move it up so it's out of the way, just in case I need this second sink. So there it is.
Well, there it is, folks. The Ace T dish rack kit comes with the uh, drip tray. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my channel, please give it a sub. I'd appreciate small channels matter. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.